YouTube 1.0. Today I'm going to show you how to reverse redstone. And what I mean by reverse is um kind of like when you use it to build things, how to reverse the signal. So when you put when you like give an output sig when you give an output to redstone, it will like turn off the redstone. So like here, it turns off the redstone when I give out an output. So it's not really reversing, but it is like making it so when you put in an output, it will like um, cut off an output. So this is quite simple. Um, I'm going to show you a few ways to do it. The most common way and the easiest way is to just use a redstone torch. So you have a block. You can do this anywhere. You can do it here. You have a block. Place the redstone torch on the side of the block. Put a redstone signal any like anywhere on top of the block. If there were blocks around here, you could put the redstone signal here, and it would still work. Well, not there, but if you put it like But it also works, um, pretty sure it works here. So if we take out that redstone signal and drive it around here. Okay, that doesn't work. But, so you have to put it, like, on top of the block that it's on the side of. So then when you produce a redstone output, it will, um, turn on the redstone output. But when that redstone output, when that redstone dust is given an output, it will actually turn off the redstone torch. As you can see there. So that's how it works if you have the redstone on top. But if you have the redstone here, 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 or here, see it like works there, works there, works there, works there, and works there. If you have it anywhere on the same level or directly beneath, like anywhere that connects to the block the redstone torch is in, like here, 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 or directly beneath it. If you have it anywhere there in those spots, then uh, the redstone signal, the redstone torch will give the output. So you have it here, and then the redstone comes up here. Then that's really how to reverse it. See, when you give it the output, the output stops. Now, sorry, um, the way you might use this is um, for piston doors. Usually, when people make piston doors, let me just make one real quick usually when people make piston doors they are traps anything they'll want it to be normally closed and then when you put in an output the door um the door will the door will open when you put in the output like when you stand on a pressure plate it gives out an output but you want it to like turn off the output to the piston so the doors will open when you put when you step on the pressure plate so the way we're going to do that is i'm just going to Quickly make a redstone door, and then, no, um, there, there, or no, that's too tall, make this one taller, and then you'll do whatever block you want, this is not a tutorial on how to build redstone doors, trust me, it's how to reverse back down, so I'm showing you how you might use it, so the way you might use it, like I just mentioned, Usually, you want the door to be normally be closed, and then when you like step on a pressure plate and give out an output, you'll want the door to open. Now, that's how you might use this. So, if you um make a redstone door, which um uh, you can watch one of our videos on that. We have a video about that. Um, well, it's coming in the future, so I can't give you the link in the description, but. So the way you might want to use this is, um, if you have a redstone repeater, sorry, I'm just making the door, this might take up a, a bit of time, it will not take up a lot, but it might be kind of annoying. So, um, you have that redstone output, and then I'm just going to do it kind of a simple way. So we'll make other videos on how to build the redstone door if you don't know how to. But right now I'm just showing you how to how you can use um, reversing a redstone signal. So I'm just building this redstone door real quick. There. And then have 
to connect it and glass. Sorry, but um, so yeah, um, key feature when you want to give like give out an output, you can um, do it that way. That comes down into there. And we need to put some output here. Sorry, um, you don't have to go to that composition. You can just put a resin output on top of here. And then you could have a resin output coming down to here. And then I'm just gonna make one side of the door work. Don't wanna use up any more time. So the way I might use this is, um, if you like have the redstone torch and then you have the redstone signal heater and that <coughs> hooks up to there so you close that closes all the doors but then if you have like a pressure plate here and you stand on <coughs> it it'll open the door since it like turns off the output um retracting the pistons opening the door <coughs> you can also use that for like traps which we have tons of traps videos links in the description so that's kind of one way to reverse redstone, and all of the other ways are quite a bit more complicated, so we might cover those in other videos, but this is it for this video, so I hope you had a great time, 